Good morning and welcome to the Marguerite Miller Challenge week eight. So this week we need to have an accessory you wear and for that I have just a little scrap of fabric here that actually someone sent to me but it's like a scarf and I wear scarves all the time. I love scarves. I just bought three when I was in Mexico. I just I love scarves and so I I just I wear them a lot so I thought an accessory you wear would be a scarf and this fabric reminds me of a scarf so there we go we have that a ticket we went to see a Christmas Carol at Jiva and so um, I have my ticket from that yet I normally scrapbook these tickets I'm only going to scrapbook one this time and I'm using one for my collage a title of a book in your bookshelf. Now this one I have covered up a little bit. Uh, Table for Four by Diana Hunter. I have, this is one I have ripped apart because it's from Alora's Cave. They've gone out of business and I have since republished this um, just under my own, you know, as a self-pubbed piece. And uh, yes, I am Diana Hunter. I'll put a link to her stuff down below, but you can see that it's pretty... Um, they put a pretty graphic uh, cover on this one, and I've covered it up with a little piece only because I don't want YouTube to yell at me. Um, because something related to coffee is something that we have to have, and I found this ad for Capital Coffee, but I'm also going to use as my back page, this is a piece of coffee dyed paper that I actually printed something on for Valentine's Day for a Valentine's Day page I was doing and then but it, I wasn't paying attention and it printed landscape and I needed it portrait so now I have this piece and it, I thought okay I'll just use it for scrap well now I'm thinking it'll make a fine back page here so there's coffee there there's coffee here a vegetable plant or a part of one I I didn't want to put anything organic in here so I, I didn't want to put the actual plant in here um, because I thought, you know, I eat carrots. I could take a carrot green or, I you know, a piece of lettuce or something like that and put it in. But I thought that's then it's going to mess up my whole page because it's going to get moldy or it's going to dry out and it's going to crumble. So I'm going to use a stamp instead that has a tomato, a pepper, lettuce, squash, broccoli, garlic, radishes, corn, potatoes, peas, and carrots. So there's a whole bunch of vegetables on there. Um, and the bonus is lace. And for lace, I have a little bit of, this is a kind of a mustard colored lace, and I'm really not ever going to use it for anything else. So let's get started. Let's figure out how to get all of these things into a collage on this page. I'm going to move you down here, but keep you in frame, I hope. Okay. We look like we're in frame on my glue book. All right. Let's start with the big page. Get you glued down. So I am having fun with these. Um, I can, it's week eight which means I've been doing this for two months and I'm, I haven't stopped yet. I'm trying to, to keep up and remember to collage. I guess having a weekly, I, I'm making you guys part of my accountability because I am posting these and filming these. It makes me say, okay, I've got to make sure that I actually do it. I can't just ignore it I have to do it so this is going to cover the entire page and I should have cut some there because I forgot I have holes so we're just going to cut the St. Valentine's Day part right off and maybe we'll find someplace else to stick it okay so there we go we have a base and let me cut that here 
and cut that here. Those will go into my thing to make more. And I know that it's not a holiday thingy, holiday theme, but I like the fact that it says St. Valentine's Day on it. So we're just going to keep those pieces and add them to our collage. It'll make interest, right? And put it right down here at the bottom. We'll, we'll see how much of it actually ends up showing up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it up at the top because I've got that great big empty space up there. Of course, it won't be empty once I put things on it. That also says coffee, so I think maybe I want to keep the coffee over there. We'll keep that theme kind of going. Okay. Now, I think what I'm going to do... Hold on. Do I want to leave it just as it is? I think I do. I'm going to leave it just as it is, but it's a pretty heavy... Um, I When I was first starting out with junk journaling, I didn't know about copyright. I was really very concerned. Because I'm a writer, I'm very concerned about um, not stealing somebody else's work. It's very important to me as a creator and as a writer to give credit where credit is due and to not take something that doesn't belong to me. So um, I wasn't sure how much I could use with the books if I were selling them. Could I use a page out of a book that wasn't, that was still under copyright protections? Um, and I have since found out that yes, I can. But in the meantime, I had taken apart Table for Four because I own this book. It's mine. I wrote it. So therefore, I can do with it whatever I darn well please. Now on my ticket, I am going to take the QR code off because it's not really needed and it just takes up space. I think maybe I want to make sure Table for Four and Diana Hunter keep showing up. That's that's important to me. Maybe I should figure out where to put my stamp because that could be in the background. Sorry, I'm leaning on you. I've got to get my stamp pad. Put that on there. I don't know why this thing... There we go. It was working just fine before and now it wants to give me grief. Okay. I only really need a couple of these to come out well. I'm pushing really hard because this pad is, even though I store it upside down, it's, um, I got to re-ink it. I thought about doing this in green, but I have now done it in black. We'll see if it shows up. It does, sort of. I think what I'm going to do is grab my pencils in a minute. This is about full, don't you think? It might be time to rip it up and start using it in... I could have used this probably for my coffee page, but... Okay, so that's on there because I don't want to forget that. I have my... And I think I'm going to just leave that to hang. Got to cut this down. Yeah, scarves are probably my downfall. I I wear them a lot. Okay. 28. Put that down there. I like this here. Oh, I've got to have my lace. I haven't even opened this lace yet. This was one that I got 50 cents at a thrift store. Um, I wasn't sure I like the color. I'm not a mustard yellow kind of person. Probably because I came of age in the 70s where everything was mustard yellow. And not my favorite. There, let me get that off of there. Finally opening. Oh, there's still more plastic on there. Okay. So it's just a little bit of, maybe we'll put you right under the Valentine's Day. You're not red. Well, that's okay. 
Let's put you right there. If you are doing the Marguerite Miller Challenge, please make sure you put a comment or a link below, and I would be happy to take a look at what you do. I am still obviously learning collage. I think I'm going to be learning collage my whole entire life. I don't know that I'm ever going to get really the hang of it. But I'm trying to make decent compositions that tell a story. Okay, let me just put that right there. So I have a St. Valentine's Day thing there. Table for four is an erotic romance. Christmas Carol, not so romantic. You know, I have this little piece of doily that has been driving me crazy. Every time I turn around, it's on my table. I don't know. I put it away and then, or I think I put it away and then it's on my table. So you know what? We're just going to put this little piece of doily right over there because why not? Why not? Okay, so I have a Christmas carol to add in here. I don't know if this glue will work on here. This is my cheap glue. Um, this was, you know, three sticks for a buck and a quarter at Dollar Tree. So you know when you get cheap glue. I, I got it because I thought, what the heck, let's see, you know, see if it does anything. And it works on some papers, and it doesn't work on others. So, you know, you just kind of see what it does. You're going to come down here. Um, I was thinking about coloring these in with my colored pencils. Hang on a second. I'll be right back. I'm back. Okay, a little bit of orange on the carrots. You don't need to do a lot here, but just add a little bit of color for them. A little bit of green on the peas. Just to give it some interest. The potatoes are brown. That's beige, but that's a potato color. Radishes are red. Corn, the corn is yellow. Oops, I haven't, I have to do that one yet. I will. Garlic is white. I do have a white here. Although that doesn't show up very much. Broccoli is green. Um, I'm going to do a kind of a yellowy squash, kind of nice yellow here. With a little bit of orange over the top of it. This is actually kind of a peachy color, but that's, that doesn't really do much. There it does, a little bit. There. Uh, lettuce is green, but I'm going to do a light green, and you can still get to it from my Piece. What are those? Oh, those are peppers. Well, now, do we want green peppers or do we want uh, red peppers? I want to do green pepper and dark green pepper. As dark as green as I can get. And a tomato. Tomato, tomato. So there are my peppers. That just gives a, oops, yeah, the garlic just doesn't show up very well. Gives just a little bit of interest there, a little bit of color up in that corner. And then table for four is there. Where do I want my, I was thinking here. I don't know if I want to cover those up. What do I want to cover up? Because I'm not really going to, maybe we'll cover up the lady a little bit more. We'll just put a little bit right here. Come on. There it comes. 
a little bit of glue and we'll stick you to it. Because I wear scarves. Lots and lots of scarves whenever I can. Okay. So, an accessory I wear, the scarf, a ticket to A Christmas Carol, a title of a book on my bookshelf, table for four, a vegetable plant or a part of one. There's a whole picture of a whole bunch of different ones. Something related to coffee. I have coffee dyed paper that, that it was a menu that had coffee in it. And I have this little coffee thingy over here, an uh, ad over here, and bonus lace. I kind of like how that one came out. Um, I could attach this, but quite honestly, one of the joys of scarves is in the wind when the scarf blows backwards. I love it. I, uh, it. They're just, yeah, I'm a scarf person. Sue me. All right. This is it for uh, the Marguerite Miller Challenge Week 8. If you are enjoying these, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications as to when the next one will come out. Um, if you really enjoyed it, please make sure you hit the little like button that you had a good time and, and uh, spent some time with me today. All right. Till next week with the Marguerite Miller Challenge, this is Cindy signing off.